Okay, so now how do you actually go about making this? First of all, you're going to need stuff. You're going to need one of these guys. This is a parallel port wire that I actually cut. Um, you're also going to need one of these guys over here uh, to actually check for continuity because you don't know what all the little wires in there are. I'm going to give you the list that I made for all 25, 20, 30 of them. There's a lot of them, but you only need to use second through the ninth because eight makes a byte. Okay, so you're going to need one of these guys and one of these guys and to check for continuity you touch a pin over here and then you touch the other end of your uh, multimeter to the wire down here that you're checking for and you find out when they uh, connect. So once you found out what all the wires are and you've labeled them on your piece of paper you're also going to need a scanner. Well, this was a scanner. Take it apart, take everything out. It's really, really easy. It only has a piece of glass, a piece of plastic, and then a few circuits. Uh, remove all the circuits. You're not going to need any of them. There are some nice stuff on there, but you're really only going to want uh, the main part is the step motor inside. You're also going to need some aluminum tube, and you're also going to need some aluminum rods. Uh, cut your aluminum tube about two inches and cut maybe a little bit more, three inches uh, and cut two pieces of them. Leave your aluminum rods long. This is a short one. This is the leftovers that I have. Buy your aluminum rod and tubes so that they fit into each other snugly. They shouldn't be much leeway. You're also going to want some of these guys. These are little prototyping boards that you can get from Radio Shack, which I don't suggest you do. If you can find a better uh, electronic shop, go for it. You're going to need some lube. Very important. Always use lubricant. Always. Drill with 3 eighths of an inch bit. This is a pipe fitter. After you cut your aluminum rods, you're going to need to use this to smooth them out. Pipe brackets for holding things down. Soldering iron with solder. Make sure it has a sponge. An assortment of tools. Black construction paper. Basically, this laser is pretty weak. You're only going to be able to cut something dark enough to absorb most of the light. Multimeter. You're going to use this to check for continuity from your parallel port to the wires that you've cut at the end of your parallel port. Laser diode with glass coemulating lens. This and this, essential. 200 milliwatts or greater, glass. 200 milliwatts, glass. ULN drivers. These guys are going to magnify the voltage that are coming out of your computer. This stuff saved my life. Four times.